What's up guys, this is your boy, Yavich Kim United here, back with another video for Injustice 2 Mobile. And in this video, we are going to review the gameplay reveal and break it down of uh, Peacemaker. And I actually watched this video once before and guys, just a heads up, it's horrendous. It's just literally horrendous. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the video, the official video they have released. I'm going to pause, you know, sequentially and just explain what I think of uh, what they're explaining. So let's get the party started here. Let's go on with uh, Peacemaker. Greetings, heroes. We are excited to introduce Peacemaker, the next legendary might hero to join the roster. Based on John Cena's Peacemaker from the Max original series. <laughs> that walk, guys, that was ridiculous. I don't know much about this character to be honest, but making this as a character in the game itself is funny. Anyways, we'll move on. This DC vigilante is willing to do whatever it takes to protect peace. He joins the flawed justice team and makes them even stronger by raising... Like why? My question is why? So like, there is no point, I, there is no connection. You know, the Steam Synergy in the characters itself, there is no connection. If you have League of Anarchy, it makes sense because all the characters are part of that team. You have, you know, Batman Ninja Team, all the characters are part of the team. So it makes sense. What sense does it make here? Like this character is not connected at all to the movie. You could have had, you know, a new Doctor Fate, same skin. At the end of the day, they are going to do reskins. So uh, having Doctor Fate would have made much more sense. But yeah, it is what it is. Let's move on. Their defense and amplifying their damage. Let's take a sneak peek into Peacemaker's abilities. First up is passive, a vow of peace. Peacemaker gains peace stacks every few seconds for each of his flawed justice teammates. When a flawed justice teammate tags in, a peace shield is activated. And all, all right, let's pause this. Uh, so a vow of peace, that's the first passive. Peace shield, it's gonna give shield, which is gonna reflect damage. As we can see over here, it's reflecting damage. And it's also gonna increase, I believe, the special damage. And uh, I think this applies only for the flawed justice teammates, not all teammates, because if it was all teammates, this special damage increase would have been great because uh, possibly there would have been a chance for even King of Atlantis Aquaman to, you know, uh, get an increased damage on the special three or even Deathstroke to get an increased damage on the special two, which would have ended up resulting in more health reduction and, uh, you know, like overall a good amount of damage. But uh, this seems to be only for flawed justice teammates. And it's not that, it's not gonna be that great, but let's move on. Incoming hits are reflective. The duration of the shield is based on how many peace buffs were stacked. Peacemaker's second passive, No Wrong Time to Rock, also supports his flawed justice teammates. The more peace buffs stacked, the more damage Peacemaker and his flawed justice teammates can unleash from their special attacks when the shield is activated. Black Adam unleashes an armor-piercing special attack which deals in... Guys, they're, you know, they're giving a review of the special two, which is no wrong time to rock, which increases the special damage, like as I was mentioning. But uh, did you just look at the damage that it did? It literally did no damage with, uh, you know, plus 1320. I, I think so. Uh, it was 20 stacks, I believe. So it's going to be that, uh, you know, like I think 26 odd. 26 should be the percentage damage per stack of the passive. That is the peace shield that is coming in or peace passive, whatever you want to call it, not the shield, the peace buffs here rather. Yeah, so 26% increase to the special damage per stack of peace buff, but that does no damage. So, I mean, that's uh, ridiculously low uh, from what I can see right now. So once it's there in the game, we will get to know better. Peace damage and thanks to Peacemaker does not reset his combo meter. To strike fear and death stroke, Peacemaker shows off his... See, I think this is a good thing that, uh, you know, like combo interruption is, you know, closed. But uh, still, it's not gonna help a lot uh, from a damage standpoint. So, let's look at it here. Here the uniform pass, which powers up his team even more. Deathstroke's low attacks fail to interrupt the combo meter because Peacemaker and his teammates are immune. As the combo meter grows, his teammates also gain more power. Next up is special attack. 
He starts building his combo meter, then launches himself headfirst towards Harley to deal damage and disable like, her I mean, move. I mean, this special one just looks, uh, I'm me kind of special one because uh, it has range from what I can see, but it's not doing a lot of damage and it's disabling the movement. Nobody cares actually about the disabling of the movement. So anyways. In his next special, Peace Out, he shoots his iconic pistol at his foe to deal damage, tag them out, and drain their power. What I thought is like it's gonna die, but special two is just draining power. That's a good thing to have. Drain power anywhere is a good thing to have, and tags out opponent. So it's not gonna be beneficial at all in raids. So it's again a me special. Smaker calls in some backup against the Joker in this fight. Even Eagly could finish you. He summons his best friend Eagly to attack and strategically weaken the Joker by increasing the power cost of his specials. Dude, nobody cares if you're increasing the special cost because more often than not, you would be dealing continuous damage on the opponent and it's it's just ridiculous why it is there in the first place. Man, they've completely messed this character up. It's just bad. It's as simply, simply to put, this character looks bad, copied skin, and I don't know whether I can zoom, but you guys can understand what I'm talking about. Yeah, it is what it is. But yeah, good thing we have, you know, like I, I can see here some modification on the artwork because the other artwork was salute. Here the artwork is different. So only that. But apart from that, uh, it, it, it looks terrible, guys. As simple as that. Finish off the fight. Peacemaker must take out Brainiac to restore peace and keep his balance. He activates his super move, Peace Sandwich and unleashes a barrage of explosives. Performing Peacemaker's super move will also give an armor-piercing chance on basic and swipe attacks for his flawed justice teammates, if the battle continues. Okay, that's a good, you know, apart from the full copy of Hush and uh, Red Hood, it's a good thing to have that it's gonna give armor pierce chance on basic attacks as well as, you know, swipe attacks. For all flawed justice, it would have been great if it was for all team members, but uh, it's still not going to be beneficial a lot because they're not going to do a lot of damage. So this is not going to be a damage dealing team. It's a might legendary guys end of the day. It's a legendary for no reason. It's worse than gold characters. I think, I think as a support character entangling poison ivy, entangling poison ivy is literally a legendary character I believe because that's going to do a lot of damage and it's going to work great as a support. This is just trash guys. I don't want to talk about this video anymore. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Stay tuned for the gameplay for this character if I ever unlock it. But yeah, subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye. Peace, maker.